Hello everybody. Welcome to English Easy Learn. I am your Arpudraj. In the previous video, we have discussed about what is sentence. Let me recall. A sentence is a group of words which gives complete meaning, complete sense, which starts with a capital, ends with a full stop, exclamation mark or a question mark. It is called sentence. Today we are going to discuss about different kinds of sentences. In sentences, there are four different kinds of sentences. Statement or declarative or assertive. The second one is interrogative. The third one is imperative. The fourth one is exclamatory. There are four different kinds of sentences we have in English language. Let's discuss one by one. The first one is declarative or assertive or statement as we call it. The sentence which gives a piece of information or a sentence that makes assertion or a statement or like a universal truth or saying a piece of information is called declarative sentence for example my father is mr john he is working in america i am adpudaraj a teacher i am playing in the school playground it's an apple I love to watch movies. I enjoy with children. I love to walk in the evening. These are all declarative sentences. Generally, declarative sentences, they start with capital. They end with the full stop. Declarative sentences, they start with the capital. And they end with the full stop. The declarative we do have negative sentences as they are. The boys are not eating their snacks. The girls are not mingling with the boys. The girls are so beautiful. The girls are not so beautiful. I am playing here. Negative. I am not playing here. They are all declarative sentences. Let's move on to interrogative sentences. In the interrogative sentences, there are two different kinds of interrogative sentences we have in English. The interrogative sentences are WH questions and S or no type questions. Interrogative questions, they start with the WH. What are you doing? Where are you going? What do you want? How old are you? What's your name? Where is your home? Who is Mr. David? So these are all WH questions. They begin with WH word and they end with question marks. When we look at SR no type questions, they begin with auxiliaries. For example, do you want to go home? Is this your pen? Does she your friend? Do you want to eat a pizza? Would you like to take a piece of biscuit? Interrogative sentences. They make or they ask questions. They are interrogative sentences. Interrogative is nothing but questions. As I said previously, there are two types are there in interrogative. That is one is WH and the other one is SR type. I hope it's clear for you. Let's move on to imperative sentences. Imperative sentences like command, request, prayer, advice. These all come under imperative sentences. Imperative sentences usually they give 
the advice sorry an advice instructions command and prayer they are all called imperative sentences for example may god bless you please give me a cup of tea get out don't stand here please open the door they are all imperative sentences let's move on to the last kind it is exclamatory sentences a sentence that expresses strong feeling emotions maybe sorrow maybe happiness strong feelings which expresses they are called exclamatory sentences most of the times they begin with the capital always they begin with the capital the end with exclamation mark or sometimes at the end there will be a full stop so in between the exclamatory mark comes for example wow what a nice flower so after the wow the exclamation mark comes a loss my dog is dead how beautiful she is how beautifully these kids are playing how cold it is so like this they end with exclamation marks they are all called exclamatory sentences let me revise once again from the beginning there are four different kinds of sentences we have in english one is declarative sentences second one interrogative sentences third one imperative sentences the fourth one is exclamatory sentences i hope you all have very clearly understood the today's topics the kinds of sentences those who have not watched what is sentence and the kinds have been discussed in the previous video please go through my previous video that will be very clear keep following so i will be start going with all kinds of grammar step by step when you do not follow or if you do not understand where you do not understand where i lack so you can suggest always so it will be rectified in the next video and you will be learning very easily so please go through english with english let's not be with the mother tongue influence so you will be learning very good english and you will be able to learn and speak soon english english is the easiest language in the world so that is the reason it is worldwide spread so keep listening my video watch my video fully so that you will be able to understand clearly you will be able to speak clearly and accurately that the listener will be able to understand you thank you for watching let's meet in the next video Thank you all.